Here's where you give the big round of applause. We have one more, or maybe two more round of applause is coming up because the next round of applause would be for the president and CEO of our organization. You're going to have to probably just be quiet for a few minutes. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the president and chief executive officer of Seniors Resource Center, John Zababa. Here he is. Woo! Thanks, Mark. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Seniors Resource Center. And uh, if this is the first time that you've been at our facility, I hope you took the opportunity to um, have a tour. We've got several eager staff that are willing to take you on a tour of the facility and show you all of the various resources we have to offer. You know, the Seniors Resource Center has been in the community for 31 years. And this is one of uh, five locations where we provide services. We're a private nonprofit organization that uh, our business is, is really supporting uh, older adults and some younger developmentally disabled in being able to stay in the community, uh, to, to live as independent for as long as possible, working with family members and, and caregivers. You know, aging is, is a fact of life. That's something that uh, we're not gonna be able to escape, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we will all experience a, a very a productive, uh, long life, but unfortunately that doesn't happen for all of us. And the Seniors Resource Center is a, a tremendous uh, service that, that really brings together a variety of different uh, services that meet the needs of, of older adults, uh, those with uh, dementia and, and Alzheimer's, uh, stroke victims, uh, those, those that uh, maybe have been injured uh, you know, through a variety of, uh, of accidents, but nonetheless, uh, we have a tremendous caring staff. We have about 300 uh, employees. Uh, we serve a 10-county region uh, throughout the Denver metropolitan area, both uh, urban and rural communities. But, um, you know, we are, are really wanting to uh, support older adults and their family members in, in order to allow them to live a, a very productive life uh, in the community, in their own homes, uh, for as long as possible. So we are delighted that you're here. We hope that you do learn something about uh, the Seniors Resource Center and the, the services that we have to offer so that you can take that information and share it uh, throughout the community. But uh, what I want to uh, invite you to is that on November the 5th, we're going to have a breakfast, uh, a gift of independence breakfast, which is going to be held at the Arvada Center at uh, 7.30 in the morning. And um, we would invite you all to come and join us to learn more about the Seniors Resource Center, to actually meet and talk with uh, some of the individuals that we serve, the, the family members, and, uh, and we hope that you will uh, consider that to support the organization. Uh, you should be able to pick up a, an invite. Uh, I see several of you with your little trick-or-treat bags, uh, and hopefully there's some, uh, some worthwhile information in there. And uh, if, if you would uh, consider joining us, we'd love to have you. Uh, so with that, uh, I hope you're enjoying yourselves this evening. Uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, to host the mixer tonight. And at this point, uh, we want to do some um, drawings. Okay. And I'm going to turn it over to Amy. I know she's dying to say a few words. The Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> See some people dressed as bankers, insurance agents. All right. We have a propane lantern from Cheryl Garcia. Propane handle. Goes to Scott Fable. Now we have a handmade basket by Jane. Oh, 